Sarah, lesson number 13. You know I am doing it. Why? Because you already know it, brother. These are all halwa puris. We have been practicing it for so long. Whether yadhabu, come on, give me a break. <laughs> Can we do 14 times yadhabu? Okay, ready? Huwa yadhabu, yadhabani, yadhabuna, hiya, tazhabu, tazhabani, hunna, yadhabna, anta, tazhabu, tazhabani, tazhabuna, anti, tazhabina, tazhabani, antunna, tazhabna, ana, azhabu, nahnu, tazhabu. Brother, and you are expert, inshallah. So here we are, brother, al-mufrad, hamidun, yadhabu. Okay, brother, aminatu, tazhabu. Any difficulty here? No. This is Gaib, huh? This is second person. Now, in this, brothers and sisters, the duels are missing. What is missing here? Duels. Huh? Dr. Sahib, Dr. Abdul Rahim does the duel separately. But for our practice, we have been doing duel. Because once you do in sequence, it's easy. Huh? Fine. Hamidun wa Aliyun wa Hashimun. Yazabuna. Huh? It's plural. Okay. Aminatu wa Maryamu wa Zainabu. Yazhabuna. Anta. Tazhabu. Antum. We know it. Anti. Tazabina. Antunna. Tazhabuna. Ana. Nahnu. This way I think we'll finish the book by tonight, inshallah. <laughs> okay. See, see the, uh, the fruits of doing verbs in advance, uh, that we could, uh, we could, uh, uh, I, I want to do this one more, huh, brother, it's easy. Uh, next one, you will try to do it at home and we'll do it. Uh. Brother, you just have to use the, the different forms of yadhabu in this exercise. Huh? Ya Aisha tu. What will you say to Aisha? Fi ayyi saatin? She is in front of you. That's Abina. We'll repeat tomorrow also, but I want to do, you to do it quickly, brother. Ya Aisha tu. So what will you say? That's Abina. We are doing shortcut. You will do it. yadhabuna. Are you with me? Ana. Ya ikhwanu mata tazhabuna. Ya ikhwanu tazhabuna. Okay. Huh? Ummi tazhabu. Very good. Ya banati. They are in front of you. Tazhabuna. Mashallah. Very good. Lima la. Ya abbas. Lima la. Tazhabu. He is in front of you. Very good. Nahnu Nazabu. Abi Yazhabu. Abi Yazhabu. Akhawati Yazhabna Hunna. Brother, you finished in two minutes. <laughs> so it's easy. Huh? We'll do it again. Huh? So, you know, now we have to think quickly in our mind the form. Which form will come? So, number two exercise. You will have to choose different verbs to suit what the sentence is asking you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? This is so very easy, brother. Inshallah. And tomorrow we'll proceed and do Fial Amar also one more time. Uh, brothers and sisters, bring the blue book so that I can show you how we can use the blue book. We were supposed to bring it on Monday. But then it snowed, and it snowed, and it snowed. <laughs> the roads were all, the whole city was paralyzed. Huh? We couldn't do things on the board. And I have also given you sheets. Huh? The sheet has everything. But I thought if I put it on the board, it might make it a little easy. On the board is only a few important points that I have put. But the sheet has got more detail. 
Now, if you remember, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> then we were, when we were studying nouns, we said the nouns decline. They are marfu, they are mansu, and they are majrur. But in a normal state, the noun is always marfu. If I say Muhammad, I mean Muhammadun. If I say kitab, I mean kitabun. Similarly, fail mudarya has three moods. We call them moods. Okay, brothers and sisters. They are marfu, mansu, and majzun. So if in its natural state, fail mudarya will always be marfu. It will become mansub or it will become majzum if there is something in front of it. Just like harfchar, ism majrur. Why did ism become majrur? Because harfchar came. Are you with me? Similarly, some things will come in front of the fail mudarya and it will then from marfu it will turn to mansub or much zoom, you know. Right now, uh, up to lesson uh, 14, it's all marfu. Then the mansu and majzum forms will come. <coughs> to you, this may seem like overwhelming. But whether this is so beautiful, so easy, take my word, easy, and so uh, you know, enjoyable. You are going to love it. You are going to become master of this within two days. And I will be repeating it all the time. And the same sentence will be repeated all the time. And you will know it. Just like when we see a noun marfu, we describe it. When it is mansub, we describe it. So from now onwards, whenever you will see fail mudarya, you will describe it from grammar point of view. What is it? Brothers and sisters, this knowledge will enable you to understand Quran in a much detailed and a deeper way, inshallah. You will see it, inshallah. So brothers and sisters, in our own simple and uh, unorthodox way, we divide fail mudarya into three sections. In your sheet, you will see the first column is al afwalul arba. Huh? Now, actually, there are five, but the scholars make it into four because tazhabu is repeated twice. Got the idea? That is why they call it four. And then the next column is the most important column, ala fa'alul khamsa. You will always hear this from uh, teachers, ala fa'alul khamsa. Truly speaking, there are seven. Are you with me, brother and sister? But tazhabani is repeated three times. You will see there in the sheet. Huh? So, uh, from technical point of view, it is afalul khamsa. Uh, what is the speciality of afalul khamsa? Brother Hassan? Noon aata hai, noon jata hai. Just simple as that. You will see noon there or you won't see noon there. Uh, okay? And then we have the last section, which is mabni. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, we are only doing marfu, but I am just preparing you for mansub and majzum. Five in your pocket is very easy because you will see the sign. Yazhabu. Uh, when you see Dhamma, what will you say? Fe'elun mudarion, marfoon, bi Dhamma, khalas. And when it will become mansub, that Dhamma will change into fatah. And what will you say at that time? Fe'elun, mudarion, mansubun, bil fatah. See, not a big deal, brother. And when it will become majzum, you will see a sukun. 
I am only talking about five in your pocket. Huh, brothers and sisters? So when you will see sukoon, what will you say? Fialun, mudhariun, majzumun, bisukun, khalas. And of course, then we describe where the file is. You know? So this sheet that you have been given, brothers and sisters, study it. Master it. And you will master it within few days. You will have a comprehensive idea of fial mudharya. And this is so very essential, brother. Most of the times, students are unaware of this. Or for some reason, the teacher does not explain in detail. But I felt from the very beginning that I must give you the details in a way which is very simple and you will comprehend, inshallah. Now, we come to the Afalul Khamsa, brothers and sisters, and which is Noon Aata Hai, Noon Jata Hai. So if you see Noon, it is the sign of its being Marfu. So how will you describe? Felun Mudariun, Marfun, Bhinkubuti Noon. And when you won't see Noon, huh, brothers and sisters, then either it is Mansu or it is Majzum. What is in front of it will tell us. So when we study, you will find that it is very easy. But if the noon is dropped, brothers and sisters, then you will say, Fialun Mudarion, either Mansu or Majzum, be Hazafi Noon Khalas, brother. And if you cannot say in Arabic, you can say it in English by dropping off the noon. But I assure you, brothers and sisters, you are going to love the Arabic terminology. You will love it. And it will become very easy on you. And when it comes to Mabni, Hunna, and Antunna, brothers and sisters, we will describe that the Fialun, Mudarion, Mabni Yunara Sukun. But then we have to give further explanation. Is it in the marfu form, or is it mansub, or is it majizum? Again, something in the front will tell you. So then you will describe fi mahalli rafain, or fi mahalli nasbin, or fi mahalli jasmin. In place of, okay, brothers and sisters, in the sheet you will see in the the five in your pocket. <coughs> Either lan or lam. I would like you to highlight it. Wherever it comes in the whole sheet, hmm? wherever it comes in the whole sheet, you will highlight lan or lam. Because these are the particles which will make the fail mudarya mansu or majzum. Now these are the common particles. There are another half a dozen more that slowly, slowly we will study. Huh? And then you will, inshallah, have a comprehensive knowledge of Fail Mudariya. And you will see how, you know, beautifully it will make you understand the Quran, inshallah. So, from now onwards, brothers and sisters, when the film Mudariya comes, we will have to describe it. Huh? Okay. Is it five in the pocket? Is it Afalul Khamsa, Noon Aata and Noon Jata? Or is it Hunna and Antunna? So, we start again with lesson number 13, brothers and sisters. Adastu Salitha Ashara. It's very easy, brother. Everything is felun mudariyun, marfuun. First part is third person, al-ghaib. Mudakar and muannas. Hamidun, yadhabu. Sahih? Lesson number 13, brothers and sisters. Amidun yadhabu. Aminatu tazhabu. Say. Okay. 
and you make it jama hamidun wa aliyun wa hashimun yazabuna and then aminatu wa maryamu wa zainabu yazhabna huh? okay fine brother and if we have to describe we will describe in this method okay brother anta tazhabu anti tazhabina antum tazhabuna antunna tazhabna ana azhabu nahnu nazhabu Brothers and sisters, I know you have a lot of things to do every single day as a, as a father, as a mother, as a, as a student. You have so many responsibilities. But if you can just work for next three to four months on this project, brother, only three to four months, give this a top priority in your life. And inshallah, you will achieve something most beautiful. I say most beautiful thing in the world you will achieve, which will be the nearness to the Quran. So work hard, give this project your top priority, and I'm going to work hard with you. And inshallah, together, we will achieve our goal. So work hard. Now, Mudariya, Madiya, and Amar. We have done all of it. You should practice. And we'll practice here also. And you will practice on your own. You know, two at a time, every day. If you need extra sheet, ask Brother Muhammad, inshallah. Now, yesterday we also did very quickly exercise number one. That complete... The following sentences by putting fiel zahaba in its mudariya form to all the necessary situation in the sentence. Means you will decide which form will suit, will fit in the sentence, depending on which pronoun you are talking about. Okay, brother? Always look to the sentence and see whom it is being addressed. Are you with me? Whom are you addressing the first in the first sentence? Aisha. Ya Aisha. Means she is in front of you. Okay? So, now remember we are only using the Mudariya form of Zahaba. So, what will you say? في أي ساعة تذهبين؟ خلاص. That's all. Got the idea? I now you know in order to figure all these things, you must be strong in your mudariya, and that's what we have been practicing, and we will still practice inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, atulabu yazabun. Sahi. Uh, it's easy, brother. Uh, do you want to do one more time uh, the mudariya? Okay, let's do it together, brother and sister. Yazhabu, yazhabani, yazhabuna, hiya, tazhabu, tazhabani, hunna, yazhabna, anta, tazhabu, tazhabani, tazhabuna, anti, tazhabina, Tazhabani antunna tazhabna ana azhabu nahnu nazhabu. So keeping that in mind, see how the sentence is uh, uh, formed and you put the proper verb form in it, brothers and sisters. Number three, brother, this is, I would call this halwapuri. <laughs> this is very easy. Ana azhabu. Ana azhabu. Okay, brother? Fine. Ya ikhwanu. When you see ya ikhwanu means they are in second person, they are in front of you. So what will you say? Mata tazhabuna. Mata tazhabuna. Got the idea? That's Sister Sumaya? Inshallah. Ummi. Oh, brother. Ummi. Tazhabu. 
أمي تزهر مهنس هي تزهر أوكي أوكي let's do one more thing بدا هو يذهب أنا أذهب نحن نذهب الطلاب يذهبون الطلاب يذهبون الأولاد يذهبون أنتم تذهبون أنت تذهبين نحن نذهب أنا أذهب أنت تذهب هي تذهب keep that in mind and everything is easy brother so أمي will be تذهب fine يا بناتي تذهبنا يا بناتي تذهبنا I'm only doing the verbs because you will write the sentence inshallah and we did it yesterday also so it's just a revision يا باس تذهب لما لا تذهب إلى المتاري معنا يا باس how will you translate this brothers and sisters why you are not going to the airport ma'ana with us ya abbas next one brother nahnu nazhabu nahnu nazhabu ila al jamiyati bi sayarati al ujra what is sayarati al ujra taxi sayarati al ujra is taxi abhi yazhabu إلى مصنعي في ساعة العشرة أخواتي now this is third person do not confuse it with second person أخواتي my sisters يزهبنا يزهبنا إلى المدرسة بالعافلة what is the translation my sisters go to to the school by bus خلاص so as you could see it was not very difficult, brother. Next one. Now, this is your real test. Okay? Now you got to figure out. And this is where, if you are strong in your mudariya, you will find it extremely easy. Complete the following sentence by putting the suitable fail mudariya. Huh? in the blanks okay again you'll see whom you are addressing ya sayyidi so somebody is in front of you is it male or female male so you will figure out now lughat al arabiyata tafahmu well do you understand you that is a correct tafahmu or ta'rifu do you know, like somebody will ask you, do you know Arabic? <laughs> so, you will say, Atarifu? Atarifu lughat al-arbiyata ya sayyidi? Sir, do you know Arabic language? Hmm? That's it. Fine. Okay, well, brother and sister, what do you do with Qurat al-Kadumi? Nahnu <laughs> nalabu. <laughs> See, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, brother. Alhamdulillah. Kulla masa in every evening. Okay. In the dormitory. What do you do in your dormitory, brother? You live there. Okay. Afi mahajil jamiati taskununa. Taskununa. Okay. Mashallah. Mashallah. Brother, what does the Tajir do with his shop? Okay. At Tujaru. Yaftahuna dakakinahum. Dukan is singular, dakakinu is plural. Inshallah. Fisati tasiati. Very good. Al mudarisu darsa ala saburati. Yatubu. Yatubu. Masha'Allah. Akhwatu hamzata. Hamzata is mamnum in sarf. Sisters of Hamza. Sisters of Hamza. 
What are they doing in Jamia? They are studying. So what is the verb? Yadrusna. Mashallah. Very good. Very good. Oh brother, Ana, come on, give me a break. Ana akrahu. What do you do with the Quran? You read it. Ana akrahu Qur'ana mafulun bihi kulla sabahin. Now, bus station. You are in the bus. Fi ayyi mahtati ya sayyidi tanzil. Tanzil. Which bus stop you will get off, you know. Ukhti and Thalatha Lugatin. So Ukhti is a third person. Do not confuse because of the Ya Mutakalim as a second person. Ukhti, huh? Tafamu, huh? or what will you say? Tarifu. Tarifu will be better. Huh? She knows three languages. My sister, she knows three languages. Very good. Brother, what do you do with radio station? Listen. Ya Fatayatu. Tas Mahana. Tas Mahana. Fi Min Ayi Idaatin. Tas Mahana Lakhbara. Are you with me? Inshallah. Because it was Antunna. Very good. Was it difficult, brothers and sisters? I don't think so. Huh? See, we worked little extra in the beginning with Mudarya, which gave us little idea huh, of how the Mudarya is working. Now, this is another beautiful exercise. I would request you to write it separately later on. Huh? Sahih means correct it. The following sentences. It means everything is wrong in the sentence. Now you, with your knowledge of Fayal Mudariya, you will be able to figure out. Okay? Ya Maryamu. Atarifina. Huh? Are you with me, brother Abdul Samad? Tarifina. Huh? See, Tarifu is wrong. You are addressing a sister. So it has to be Tarifina. Huh? Very good. Ya Dukhuluna Tullabu. Fasla. Brother? What, uh? Why? Yeah, mashallah, mashallah. Because when the, in the third person, when you begin a sentence, it is always singular. The verb is singular. When you say, Yadukhuluna, there is a vow as a file. And Tullabu, also file. You can't have two files, brother. So you have yadkhulu tullabu. Then tullabu is your file. Very important rule. Never forget this, brother. At-tabibatu. Yakhrujna. Hunna. Hunna yakhrujna. Very good, brothers and sisters. Now again the same thing comes which was in number two. Yajlisna talibatu. Tajlisu. Huh? Are you with me? Tajlisu talibatu. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Ya ikhwanu. Aina tazhabuna. Ya ikhwanu. Where are you going, oh brothers? Huh? No, you know you can ask each other this question. Aina tazhabu. Where are you going? What will you say to a sister? Aina tazhabina. Aina tazhabina al-an. Where are you going now? Okay. You, you can, you know, start using these verbs in your everyday life, inshallah. Ukhti yadrusu will be wrong because it is more less. Tadrusu. Ukhti Tadrusu. Fil madrasati thanaviyati. Ya banati. Taktubuna. La, la, la. Ya taktubna. MashaAllah. See, now your mind can figure out the right form. Are you comfortable, brothers and sisters? If some of you are not, inshallah, with little hard work, you will be able to do it. Sister Nusrat will help you. Brother Muhammad will help you. 
Everybody will help you, inshallah. Brother Muhammad will help you, Brother Samad will help you, Brother Hassan will help you. All of you will help each other, inshallah. Sister Arifa will also help you, inshallah. Sister Mainaz will also help you. And Sister Rahima will also help you, inshallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Ya Abbas, maza taqulina? No, no, you got to put, then you have to give hijab to Abbas then. <laughs> okay? Maza taqulu? Okay. Nahnu ashrabu? Nashrabu, brother, fine. Sa tarjiu abi? Abi tarjiu? Sa yarjiu. Wasn't it easy, brothers and sisters? You could figure out. Huh? Sumaya? Are you getting there, sister? Inshallah. Huh? Brother, what is next? We have already learned it in detail. Huh? Yazhabu. So what is ya? Alamatu mutariya. And where is the fail? Zahaba. Huh? And where is the file? Damir mustatir. Huh? Okay. Yazabuna. What is ya? Alamatu mudariya. Huh? And where is the fail? Zahab. And what is wow? Fine. And what is noon? Alamatu rafa. Yeah? Alamatu rafa, which makes it marfu. Okay? Tazhabu. Same thing, brothers and sisters. Harfu mudariya. Zahab is the fail. And file is mustatir. Alhamdulillah, brother, we, we can understand this fully. If we were to s learn it for the first time, it would seem like a big, big job. But you already know it, we worked it, and it's easy, inshallah. Yazhabna. Allahu to mudaria is ya. Okay, brother? Or harfu mudariya, you can say. Huh? Harfu mudariya. Ya zahabna, ya is harfu mudariya. Zahaba is the fail. And where is the file? Noon. Noon is your file. Then tazhabu, it's easy, brother. Tazabuna, these are all very easy, brother. We have done it. Tazabina. Ta is harfu mudariya, zahab is fiel, ya is your file, remember? And alamatu mudariya is noon. That's very easy, brother. So I'm leaving this year because we have done it many times before. Al kalimatul jadidatu, sayaratul ujrati, taxi. Safun, jama is sufufun. Safun means line. Line. Also sometimes Safun may mean classroom. Uh, it can also mean